Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is way earlier than we expected it to be back, but we have another cube, <clears throat> which is strange because it's only been about a month, if that, since the previous cube. And uh, that's weird, man. But in the Wizards article, I have to find it now. Oh, I guess I can just go here, click on calendar, <clears throat> click on vintage cube. And Ali Medwin says, War of the Spark season is an unusual one compared to previous seasons. This is usually the space in the article where we list out a bunch of flashbacks, wacky sealed events, and other formats to start about a month out from the set's launch. Uh, there are two problems this time. One is the release of Modern Horizons right in the middle of what would be the middle the middle of what would be the middle of our alternative play calendar. The other is that Modern Horizons is going to be in full swing when we would normally run our mid-year Vintage Cube. Too many people love Vintage Cube too much for us to not run it at all, so we're giving it priority over any other formats. That's the entire alternative play calendar. Then on May 15th... <clears throat> uh, that's the entire play calendar then. On May 15th, around 10 a.m., we'll turn on Vintage Cube, then we'll leave it on until Modern Horizons. Modern Horizons starts on oh good lord june 6th so we have a good three weeks of vintage cube which is my god happy days are here again guys let's do it thank you mr mcjibbles thanks so much for the reset buddy welcome back welcome back <laughs> Mr. McGiblets. That's a great name. If your name makes people laugh out loud when they say it, that's a solid name. <clears throat> this is this might be the longest I've had to wait in a vintage cube. Which says something because it's not that long yet. Did I forget the end of their name? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, Through the Breach, Time Spiral, ooh. Fast Bond, Bazaar of Baghdad, and the Bloodstained Mire are the cards I'd be leaning towards. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I said the whole name. I don't know. I think you guys are being a little weird right now. Dankus Dags, what's going on? <clears throat> what's the pick here, guys? I'm going to let you guys pick the first, our first Vintage Cube pick. You guys pick it. I don't know how I'm gonna figure that out though, because you guys are all saying different things, so. Multiple people saying bizarre. Ashiok, there's no Ashiok in this bag. We got 16 seconds. You guys need to name a card quickly. You guys haven't named any cards yet. I took through the breach. And now we can take a sneak attack or a mana drain? Woo! Oh, Vintage Cube, I missed you, my friend. I missed you. <clears throat> I think it's got to be sneak attack, right? Like, this is a whole strategy, even though mana drain is so strong, dude. So strong. We could, if we took time spiral, we could also take Yawgmoth's Bargain here as well. Yeah, I'm going to take sneak attack. Ulamog is a thing. And then we could have Tendrils. We could have Time Spiral, Tendrils, Yawgmoth's Bargain. Wow. There should be a sneak attack for enchantments. What? <laughs> oh, put an enchantment into play. All right, now I'm going to sacrifice it. <clears throat> Ulamog, this is not... The, the problem is this is not the most scary Ulamog. It's just mills 20 and then you're like, all right, cool. And they take 10, maybe. I don't think there's anything better in this pack for us. Maybe like Toxic Deluge or Spell Pierce. I'd almost rather have the Spell Pierce. Like, I feel like we're going to be... I feel like we're going to be blue-white. Mill 20 doesn't win that much, though. Not in Vintage Cube. Like, not, not when it only takes a couple turns to get to get busted. Like, 
Mill 40 Unlimited wins. I'm gonna take the spell pierce. Oh, cryptic command? <clears throat> Fascinating. This pack is also sweet. You got Scarab God, you got Cryptic Command, Glenelendra Archmage. Oof. Atarka's not bad. We can uh we can sneak attack in Atarka. I do like a Glenelendra Archmage. Like I, <clears throat> I think we're gonna have enough opportunities to pick up creatures that we can sneak or or breach. <clears throat> sneak and breach. I think we're gonna take Glenelendra Archmage. Oh man, you got two mocks in one pack? Some some guys have no some guys have all, all the problems. Uh, light up the stage is actually pretty decent. Thank Let's take a plateau though. Plateau is nice. Nature's little treasure. Welcome back. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Dankus Dags. Thanks so much for the reset. First time having a phone in ten weeks. What the, what the, what WTF is going on in War of the Spark as far as standard? Uh, lots of things. Probably more things that I could that I could clarify in a quick message. I want to take the plateau because it lets us uh, it lets us do some dirty stuff. Nahiri's actually pretty sweet with this deck too, because presuming we get like a creature that we want to cheat into play, like Nahiri's just another way to do that. Read your message. It was so cute. What was it? Manatee story. When I lived in South Carolina, there were some streams where manatees and otters would come play with you if you sprayed them with a hose. Oh my god. That's all I want with my life. I just want to move there and play with manatees all day. Can we do that? Oh, Sea Chrome Coast. That helps us with the... We can also take Soulfire Grandmaster and hope we get Time, time Walk. I was going to say Time Spiral. You already passed Time Spiral, you stupid idiot. <laughs> I'll take the Sea Chrome Coast. Oh, Wear Tear is pretty good. Torrential Gear Hulk, are you any good? You can through the, We can Torrential Gear Hulk through the Breach. I don't hate that. <clears throat> oh man, Juposh, you worked at the South Carolina Aquarium? I assume SC is South Carolina. I kind of like Wear Tear. I think it's a strong card. Because it is, guys. This pack is terrible. I'll take the bizarre. I think it's too powerful not to take. I have no idea what the pick is here. I'm gonna take Char. Oh boy. It's not looking good. Interesting. Red white seems to be quite quite open. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna take light at the stage because we'll probably just main deck it. Wow. Red. <laughs> speaking of the devil. Speaking of the devil. Speak of the devil. Like the red white is just way way open. I don't think we actually need a reason to be blue at this point. Burst. Goblin. Light up. And char. Like we can just be a red white deck that uh, that has a bunch of sweet ways to sneak things into play if we get them. Yeah, Vintage Cube went up about 140 today. It was late. They said it would go up around 1, but it was around 140, actually. Teferi's a good reason to be blue. <clears throat> of course, we open nothing of nothing of value here. This is the wrong Emrakul and the wrong Ulamog, unfortunately. I mean, I'm just not in a... I'm not in a... My big mood is not sneaking in a 13-13 and then hoping they... They just take 13 and then they die. It's, I guess it's possible. Hmm. I like Teferi. The only thing we have is Seacrum Coast. Matthew, what's going on, buddy? Hmm. Oh, I don't think we're any anywhere close to Hellrider right now. We have like one creature before <laughs> before turn four. We have two creatures total in our deck. We are not Hellriding. <clears throat> yeah, I'm taking this Emrakul. I mean, like it's better than nothing. I also like Monastery Mentor and I like Chandra. I think it's got to be Chandra here. Chandra is very very good. 
Also, Demonic Tutor is nice, but we have no uh, real reason or desire to be black. I'll just take this Chandra. I think she's very strong. Because she is, really. Path Exile, Lightning Helix, Thunder Maw, Hellkite. I mean, we could actually be Mono Red. It's... I think the Nahiri and the Avacyn are good enough, and Mono Red, or uh, Red White is nice enough too. And Windswept Teeth also gets Plateau for us, which is nice. I think it is Path. There it is. There's your, there's your, there's your baby boy. There's your beautiful baby boy. Woo, we did it. Oh, we did it, boys. Yeah, Legacy Cube doesn't quite scratch my itch, but it is good. Like, it's very good. Is an Emrakul girl? Yes. There's your baby girl. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Burning of Zinyu. Do we just want to manatize people? Do we just want to get them? Do we just want to manatize guys? This is dies. This is sacrifice it. Oh, Ashen Rider is actually pretty sick though. Both of these are sacrifice, so we get we get to hit two permanents. We're definitely taking the Ashen Rider. Mr. Ashen Rider. Uh, second artifact. We don't have any artifacts. We don't have an artifact centric deck right now. Uh, we could take Deceiver Exarch and hope that we get one of the other pieces. It's probably the strongest piece in this pack, right? I mean, Recruiter literally finds nothing in our deck. It finds Rabble Master, and that's pretty much it. I think I'd rather have Deceiver Exarch and just um, hedge for that. Hedge for that sweetness. I'm going to take this Neil Spires. Inspiring advantage. They're just literally giving us all of the uh, all of the blue white lands, which is nice. Young Pyromancer. Are we a young Pyromancer deck? It's very possible. I think we want young Pyromancer here. We have no two drops, and that guy actually does some work. Oh, the Teferi comes back. Oh, y'all people have no respect. That's beautiful. Oh, Spire Bluff Canal. Sure. Put Glenny back in the deck. Yeah, hey, Lightning Helix is nice. Mm, zealous Conscripts. Okay. We got Manatai the Inspell Pierce. Kiki Jiki or a Splinter Twin would be. Uh, I want to take this Avacyn out. I don't think. I don't know if we want double white. <coughs> and that was how he died. Oh man, wrong mox. Wrong mox magic online. Frantic search could be very good. It's not Gideon of the Why isn't this Gideon Blackblade instead? Did they make changes to this cube? Did they add any new cards, any new War of the Spark cards? Because if not, that's kind of sad. I do kind of like Negate here, actually. Negate might be better than Frantic Search. Gotta got up. We're we're playing the vintage cube. We got the shit mox and the shit lotus guys, <clears throat> and the and the not new gids. It's got to be negate, right? It's vintage cube. We're gonna negate. Thank you. Oh, celestial colonnade and sacred foundry. Yes, please. Josh T, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. 
Celestial Colony is nicer because it's our, it's our two splash colors. I think that's probably the pick. <clears throat> Maybe Sacred Foundry comes back too. That'd be sweet. Oh boy. <clears throat> My throat is scratchy again today, guys. I don't know. When I wake up, sometimes it just gets a little, a little scratchy. I don't know why. Yep, we're just taking Consecrated Sphinx here. For obvious reasons. Hmm. Oh, Finale of Devastation. They did add War of the Spark cards, apparently. Seems good. All right, cool. Spell Seeker is actually pretty decent with our deck so far. We can get Helix, Negate, Burst, Path, Spell Pierce, Mana Tithe. <coughs> Arcane Artisan, just also another way to discard these and get copies of them. Yeah, Artisan seems good here. Anything good here. Terramander, Past in Flames. Eh, it's probably just Journey to Nowhere. There's a Lily on its Triumph, a new card, nicely added. Yeah, we'll just take Journey. Control Magic, Wandering Fumeral. Oh, Swords to Plowshares. Yes, please. Oh, that's gas. Yeah, we'll just take Swords. <gasps> blighty boy. <clears throat> it's your Blighty boy. That seems pretty good, right? With Arcane Artisan, Sneak Attack, through and Through the Breach. Yeah, we're going to take the Blight Steel. Uh, and nothing here that's super exciting. We can just take Glorybringer in case we want to board it in. And nothing really comes back that's exciting. I guess Lightning Strike is fine. Man, Sacred Foundry did not come back, unfortunately. Take a Containment Priest. Gideon Jura. I have a decent mono white aggro deck over here. So we only need one cut here. That's interesting. <clears throat> I think Zealous Conscripts is good enough. Thank you. Might just be Ravel Master. I don't actually know. Bullmog, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Alright, mana base not too shabby. Um, definitely lightest on the white. Yeah, I can see cutting mana type. We have spell pierce already. That seems fine. And as far as fatties goes, we have like <clears throat> four pretty decent ones. Alright, put all these guys in here. Uh, one black. Oh, because of the Ashen Rider? Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can probably go down to six here. Five, six, seven, eight. Probably nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> probably go down to five white. We only need white for six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Five, eight, nine. Six, eight, eight. Six, eight, eight might be better. We don't need a ton of white, but we do need white early. Maybe. <clears throat> In before one, two. Oh, are you going to channel, channel this Blightsteel Colossus? Alright, let's try this. Alright. 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Two white cards. No white mana. I'll still keep it, though. Let's see what degenerate degenerate stuff Fabloop is doing. Fabloop blop. Channel plus Hydroid crosses is you're like, I'll pay 16. Gain 8 of it back. Draw 8 cards. Okay, okay. Hey, look at that. Do we just play this? Now we're just going to run this guy out there. If they have like a removal spell, which I'm assuming they do. Do they not? <clears throat> do I just get a free attack? Am I a bad person for wanting both Ash? No, not really. They're both very relevant. Billy with the gifted sub. Thank you so much, buddy. You are the hero we need. Uh, give me a white mana that comes in and play untapped, which is very few of them. That's not one of them. I actually don't know what this could be. It could be Den Protector or it could be Rattle Claw Mystic, depending on what's in this cube. Man, one planes here would be great. Do we have inspiring vantage? I don't think we picked that up. Do we what do we have? We have needle spires, we have plateau, two planes, celestial colony, and sea chrome coast. Those are our white sources. So two of the three of them. Sea chrome coast, celestial colony, and needle spires would come into play tapped. Three three come into play tapped, three would not. So <clears throat> So half of our half of our white sources are gonna come into play tapped, half are not. And both of our creatures seem pretty vital to deal with. So they're just probably gonna go Wrath of God here. Interesting. Oh, well, that's when you kill. Fascinating. Hmm. So we could actually kill this, attack for one, or we can try to hit a white source and just put like an Emrakul into play, but I don't want to really keep this Chandra alive, so I'm not going to risk it. It was indeed a den protector. All right, well, let's see if there's a white on top. That'd be hilarious if there's just like plateau on top, and we could have went uh, discard Emrakul, put Emrakul into play, draw plateau, play plateau, source the plashers, this guy attack Chandra for one. That'd be sweet. Oh, I see. Well, <clears throat> thankfully we have Swords to Plowshares in hand. Oh my god, it would have been a Plains. That's amazing to me. That is amazing. Exile Enchantment? Oh, let's do that. <laughs> See you later. Oh, we have a good time. Alternatively, we could have stuck a an Emrakul into play and a Swords to Plowshares, but... I don't know what kind of shenanigans they have with their with their uh, with their sneak attacks, so I don't think sneak attacks really a card where you want to be like, okay, just leave that on the board, I guess. Plus, if they go like Dragon Lord Atarka, kill this, attack for eight, then we just lose our Emrakul and they we have no blocks, like so. 
<clears throat> sneaky, sneaky. No, don't be sneaky, sneaky. And what does this even do? Nothing? Just a 4 3? Nice. Buddy, I got a lightning helix. You ever seen lightning helix before? Hmm. If we draw a land, we can. What are we discarding here? I guess we can swords this instead. I guess we could also not care about it. I mean, if we Lightning Helix and put an Emrakul into play, they're basically dead, right? <clears throat> I was going to a soccer game, but it seems like we'll be Cuban all Sunday. Yeah, that's a... That's a better choice, man. You right. A Johnny Vengeant? Oh no, don't kill this. That's oh, at the beginning of the next end step, though. <sighs> I don't think we want to... Actually, one point I just discard a, a Path to Exile. Might as well like, see what we get. Um, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we'll go to path here. <laughs> if an opponent lost life this turn. Well, we want to kill this. God, I don't like that Nahiri makes me discard the card first. That makes me sad. And we'll just discard this Emrakul. Nah, that's pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> Maybe we just play light up the stage here, actually. Yeah, that seems great. That seems even better. Get a land next turn, too. Alright, cool. Now we just don't draw those? This is great. Like a bridge over troubled water. This is why we wish we had uh, the swords to plowshares. No exert, huh? Okay. <clears throat> still think we're fine. Yeah, we could plus this, but then they just kill it and Pyromancer next turn with uh, Glorybringer. I'd rather just have Nahiri be a way to get rid of Glorybringer and get rid of uh, Sneak and Show. It's pretty good. Uh, negate. Make a dude. We have seven lands. Like, if we can just draw double black, we actually get to play Ash Ashen Rider. That's pretty good. Our hand is pretty ridiculous right now. Should have also attacked with uh, Celestial Colonnade here. That was pretty bad. They would be at 10. And then next turn they'd be dead with uh, Lightning Helix. That'd be good. <clears throat> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
Yep, that's pretty fine. If all you played last turn was Lightning Strike and you had the same amount of mana, and this turn you play Wall of Roots, I'm pretty sure you don't actually have anything else. I don't know what your hand is, though. Mm -hmm. What ways do we have to cheat them into play? Uh, we have a sneak attack. Uh, we have a through the breach, and we have arcane artisan. So and Nahiri. So quite a few ways, <clears throat> at least four different ways. <clears throat> got a daycare to say over the weekly snow cone day that's gas dude <clears throat> yeah it's fine They would be at four right now if we actually uh, attacked with our Celestial Colonnade when we had the chance. They can't really attack here, right? Then they die. Can we shoot their face and then Alpha? Yeah, we can. Lafof, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. But perhaps not too long. <laughs> no, it's been a while. <laughs> we were going to draw another Emrakul to have three big... F three. We drew all four of these and neither of these or this. So, you know, what can you do? Where's Terra? What did we see? We saw a sneak attack. Did we see anything else? I've been busy being a narc. I don't get I don't get the meme. I think Brightling is a fine card in the right deck. This is not the deck for a Brightling though. No one knows what narc only mode is. Matt, you're like the guy that has all these memes with his friends, like these inside joke memes Thank you. that no one else knows. And you think people enjoy it when you bring them up all the time. But no one else gets it. Everyone else is on the outside looking in. <clears throat> and they just want to be a part of the joke, that's all. Just tell us what narc means. Like, I don't know what narc means in this context. Who's he narking on? I think, I think, um, I think Magus is probably worse for our mana base than for theirs. It's funny to call people, that's the joke. <laughs> that's it. Billy with the other gifted sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Um, I think we're just going to submit like this. I think it's fine. Thank you. Oh my god. Land Seahorse, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. I'm going to just keep this hand again. Again, no white, but we got a 3 drop and a Chandra. Sure. Their deck seems pretty fair, so. Famous last words, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm, bow, bow. Chica, chica. Baby narc do 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 do. <laughs> oh lord. All right, we're halfway there. Are we gonna emrakul someone in our very first uh, vintage cube match? The answer is yes. Really? 
That's aggressive. Baby narc. Now everyone is on board with the narc trend. Yeah, that's true. You guys remember Elias? God, whatever happened to Elias? I guess he got promoted at Best Buy and he's just probably working a little bit more now. <clears throat> uh, no blocks. I will take two. Good riddance if you ask me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, they missed the land drop. No bueno. No, zero bueno. Huh. Okay. They let me get a free creature out of this. Watch, it's going to be one of the cards we wanted. Emrakul? Fine. Cast Emrakul? No, I'm good, thanks. No, I'm good. See, the thing we want to hit here is a Through the Breach or a Sneak Attack off of Chandra because we can cast them both and activate one of them because that's the only... Alright, not it. Not Shut it. Up and take my money. Oh, one Narc Buck. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Give me them Narc Bucks. Teferi. Oh my god, I forgot to play the land first. I hate this Chandra sometimes. <laughs> That's not true. She's great. But still, like, it's just... I forget that this is one of the one of the only Chandras... One of the only red cards that has the similar ability where it's like, exile the top card of your library. Until the end of turn, you can play this. This is one of the only Chandras that you have to play it at that exact moment. Uh, creatures of power less than... Yeah, no blocks. Are you going... You're going to Chandi? Okay. I mean, to be fair, if we if we hit that, that Teferi, we'd probably just win on the spot. We'd be able to tuck this guy. Wait. I guess you probably had this in your hand the whole time, and you drew a forest, so you're figuring it's better to play this than the forest. Fascinating. Oh, they're going to path their own guy. <laughs> I'm tempted to swords it, but you know what? You're only getting one land either way. Does it exile it? No, at least battlefield exile all tokens. Okay, so it's... We could have also Chandra to play Consecrated Sphinx this turn, but I'm not on the, I'm not on the, the plan of trying to Consecrated Sphinx here. I'm on the plan of trying to... Cheat these fat idiots into play. So. I guess we don't get to do that. We would have drawn that and then hit that off Chandra. Okay, well. That was a uh, pretty decent match for us. You a damn lie. You always trying to Sphinx. Yeah, that's true. You're right. 
If you keep calling him fatty, it's still gonna turn. They already did turn on me. They were stuck in my hand with nothing to do. JT, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Seven months, seven long months of fun. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. Faux show. <clears throat> so this is 13, this is four. That's almost death right there. Is for bloop in this game? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. You got it. Man, it's nice to see Signets back in a cube. Yeah, we'll play this. I don't think we're going to char anything next turn. But maybe. They should have made Emrakul a 1-1 with all the abilities. Yeah, it's real tiny. I'm just one tentacle. <laughs> I don't think we're going to char anything, he says. I mean, if they plus Emrakul, or if they plus Jace, we couldn't char it anyway, so. Oh. Good. Oh, they let me keep a land? That's pretty cool. Well, I'm just going to slam this guy, because I don't think you're going to have that many main deck ways to deal with it. Famous last words, guys. I got to go attend a meeting. Don't kill these kids too quick. I want to be back in time for the next... All right, I got you. Actually, there's nothing I can do to control that, so... I might not have that. Yeah, you better you better brainstorm. Acidic slime. They don't have double green. <laughs> that ain't gonna do anything. Cause now I'll just have five mana, buddy. Baby shark. <clears throat> Jace the mind sculptor. Do -do -do -do. Put him in the garbage. Do -do 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 -do. Trash can, Jace. Primeval Titan, do 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 do. Wish I took that, do 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 do. Can we get? How about a big fat Emrakul, like a good one? Let me get that good Emrakul. I think we just killed him if we draw two Emrakuls, right? That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty okay. And they gain six, but they take ten, and then we still have Char and Celestial Colonnade and Sneak Attack. Double Kool-Aid Man? Oh, yeah. See you later, Emrakul. Don't worry, buddy. There's, there's more where that came from. There's always more where that came from. Ugh. Now I gotta just cast things normally? Ugh. Where's the fun in that?
The <laughs> spaghetti monster is behind you now. Be careful. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Wow. I have two cards in hand? All right. God, we're one mana shy of doing all the things. We can go one, two, three, four to activate, but then we only have two mana left to char something. If we kill this now... So they're going to block, so then we can just char it afterwards. We can also just attack with both, but I don't think that's great, because then they, they don't lose their... Is it X or less? Yeah, so they would lose these two and we would lose just this guy. It's not land. Artifact, creature, and enchantment. So actually, if we activated this, we would lose it. That's interesting. That's some crazy wording. What's going on here? One, two, three, four, five. I don't even like this. I don't even like this, Liliana. You get back your Riffling Cloudscape. They have one card in hand? They just make a zombie? Sure. I don't like them activating this for one, but then they get rid of their own zombie. They can't activate this. We have to have them get rid of this. They could go block here, sacrifice this to kill all the ones, and then we lose Neil Spires. But that's just worse than Colonnade, so. And they probably just block here. Liliana goes to three. You have one more card in hand? I think they're trying to activate the Pernicious Deed. Oh, I didn't even see the Hissing Quagmire. Wow, I'm really bad at this game. I was like, they can't activate this guy. Oh, yeah, they got a Hissing Quagmire, too. That seems good. I, mean, I guess we have to eat the Hissing Quagmire, though. It's not nothing. They do get to get back, like, Whisperwood Elemental, which is pretty good. Which they did. That's not great. Straight artifact creature and enchantment with every mana cost X or less. And two damage to you, because this spell is an effing narc. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. I guess we'll see what happens.
I think they're reading Pernish's teeth. They're like, does this work? Yep, definitely works. I mean, there's an argument that we should have actually held this because if we get to a draw like Nahiri. But they're probably going to attack with this, so I'd probably just kill this. They exiled your dirt guy. No, they just destroyed it. It wasn't exiled, but they did kill my dirt guy. Toxic Deluge for two. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight mana. We are one mana away from actually just casting a, an Emrakul to Promised End. We still have Pointy Rock Guy, that's true. We do still have Pointy Rock Guy. Oh, that's not going to do it. All right, we're just going to go to the next game here. I don't think there's any card in our deck that would have saved us here. Arcane Artisan into Lightning Helix into Blightsteel. We'd be dead by then. Actually, Avacyn seems pretty decent here. Only six white sources, though. I kind of like Glorybringer as just like a hasty idiot to just smash into their face. Our deck seems good. I can just go 41, right? I don't even. I'm fine. It's totally fine. <laughs> F for Dirt Guy. Dirt Guy didn't die though, did he? Oh, Dirt Guy died and Pointy Rock Guy didn't die. Dang it. Um, yeah, I'll keep this. I got a negate and a and a spelly McPierceson. Maybe shark. <clears throat> if we draw a red card, we can light up the stage. I'll light up the stage. Wax a jump like a candle to the extreme. I. Rock a mic like a vandal? Something like that? Got him. Nice. Nice top deck. Glorberger does have that cone of shame. It's because he just went to the vet, so he's got to wear his cone. So he doesn't scratch himself. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that. Not hitting a land here is pretty bad. This could be worse if we don't hit a land here. Oh, let's hit a land next turn so we can just sneak attack into Blightsteel. Ooh boy, let's do that. Couldn't counter that anyway. Who even cares, right? Am I right? Well, I'm just definitely going to play this. Next time we got Ashen Rider. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Oh, 
cheese, Rick. To the extreme, they never don't have that. Yep. I mean, if we can hit one more land here, that's fantastic, because we can Glory Ringer, kill the Vraska, and kill the Whisperwood Elemental. And that sounds A-OK. -okay. Yeah, that's fine. You have to hit my Negate or my Lightning Helix. Knock yourself, knock yourself out. Come on, untapped land here one time. We got Colonnade, Neil Spike, Neil Spires, and um, Sea Chrome Coast that come into play tapped. 17 lands, 10, 10 lands that don't come into play tapped. Yeah, boy. Attack Varaska and exert. Get this idiot. I'll sack it in response. You ready? Ready for them to sack it in response? Even though they know our hand. Oh, they just let it die. Good for you. Good for you, opponent, exercising uh, the path of least resistance when your your uh, your efforts have no impact. Well, if either of these are worth flipping, they probably would have flipped them there. So. Uh, this is Vintage Cube. It says it in the description. Do you know who the biggest narc is? Narset. Is it really? Is she really? I mean, we're just going to take four here against this deck. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And I'd like to keep up Glenelg or Archmage in case they have some, sh some shenanigans. Because next time we get on tap with Lightning Helix and and Glorybringer, which kills both of their creatures, so I'm totally fine with that. Kill a random one. Gideon's a narc. Gideon died for you. How dare you? Oh, that was a miscalculation. All right. Seems good. Look at this hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four man away from this guy. One through the breach, or arcane artisan away. I mean, I can't imagine not killing this, right? Because then they just... Like, it's just going to die anyway, so... Might as well, right? And they still have to pay the... They still have to pay the four life. That's pretty sweet. Yep, attack with Lumbering Falls. Sure. Well, they're almost dead on board here. They take nine.
We could also just attack with these two. Because then they're dead in the air. And that keeps us a little safer in case they have like something that deals three, but I don't I can't imagine what it would be. Do they anything with haste? I guess we also have Glenelanger Archmage, so it can only be a, a creature here. Well, even it up. Let's even it up. How is Sneak Attack through the Breach and Arcane Art is not enough? How do we keep not having enough? I don't understand. I kind of like Lightning Strike here because of the Planeswalkers, but on the same hand, like it doesn't kill Whisperwood and it doesn't kill Lumbering Falls. And if they plus Jace, it doesn't kill Jace. It's almost kind of like Mana Tide instead. <laughs> Just be like, Mana Tide, my dude. I mean, we also have Nahiri and Arcane Artisan to discard these cards if they clog up our, clog up our hand, but that doesn't seem to be happening as much. The discarding part. Let's take out Burst Lightning and add in Mana Tithe. I'll keep this because one blue makes it very, very good. Hmm. It's not a blue per se, but could be good. Faithless Looting would be fine. Come on, give me a blue. Don't don't do me like don't do me dirty like this. Here's a celestial colonnade. It's a mountain. It is worse. Literally, literally four blue cards and an Ashen Rider in our hand. Phenomenal. Well, they don't have Uh that's instantaneously gonna be swords. Well, a blue next turn lets us Tefri, which is super nice. Cube Stip. Tom Bombadil, thank you so much. Or T Bombadil, rather. I, I assumed it was Tom. Uh, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thick boys only. All creatures must have toughness four or greater. Uh, token generators are allowed, but final deck must have a minimum of five thick boys. Colors and archetypes are of T or Animus. Oh, sweet. This is gas. All right, hold on. Let me. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. All right, new note. No, not new note. I already have regular notes. Go to stipulations. All right, extra thick. <laughs> so thick. Oh man, look at this guy. I'm just gonna kill all their, their dirtily creatures now. The, the reason we're killing this is because if we land a, a blue for Teferi, oh, that's just good. Here comes blue land. Exile blue land. You ready? Oh, uh, that's fine. That's not a card I care about. It's one, it's one closer to not hitting a land, so. Oh, yep, that's a dude, all right. That's a dude, all right. Read my joke. Frank's on the mom, Frank manatized me. Frank's on, don't be a narc. <laughs> I don't even have a brother. But yeah, that's what happened, basically. I still don't have a blue land. This is actually ridiculous. We have eight sources of blue in the deck. Come on, dude. That's actually pretty decent, all things considered. If this was untapped, holy smokes, we can Ashen Rider, exile this, exile, like, Lumbering Falls? Wow, that'd be insane. 
Of course we draw the one tap land with no blue. So like, it's just, oh man. It's not even like, it's not even super upsetting. It's just kind of like perfect stormy. You're like, wow, that's amazingly, it's so elegant how it works. Like if we, we hit a card that we need one extra land for, and not only do we hit a tapped land, we still have no blue sources for our entire hand. And now I'm going to assume they're going to play Vraska, get rid of this again, and then we're just going to have Ashen Rider trapped in hand forever. So they do get to kill Chandra. Well, that's unfortunate. So you just get to negative four here and kill both of these? Holy shit. Come on, dude. That's unbelievable. Okay, see, that's obnoxious. Like, how am I going to draw only, like, literally five non-blue lands? Through the breach. Emrakul! Literally have no cards I can cast in my hand. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five. They can actually attack for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Which puts us to four. Which means that even if we Ashen Rider to get rid of both of these... This is unbelievable. Why am I doing this? Oh, still no red. Still no lands and no blue. Give me a fucking break. Come on. Oh my god, dude. Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, we probably could have killed Ugin with... Uh, no, because... Well, yeah, it would have been a three, but, I mean, like, who cares? Like, doesn't matter. <laughs> I kill Ugin, and then they just go attack you with Primeval Titan. I have two creature lands, a Jason, a Liliana. All right, well... I mean... keep snap keep we did it we got all our colors i mean it has never been issued since last game but last game it's like last game it was pretty ridiculous like unbelievably so oh this hand is great like we get to keep all of these up and still have the mana to cast these things oh this is wonderful Oh, they missed the land drop? Well, I mean, I'd love to feel bad for you, son, but I got 99 problems, but land this game ain't one, so. <laughs> Please leave. Never. 
It probably wouldn't have even been that bad for us, to be quite honest, but... A hundred bits for Mist Land drops. Nice. Uh, Glenelanger, we will not cast you, unfortunately, which means we will likely draw a land. That's how magic treats us. There ain't no justice, guys. Wall of Blossoms. Boo! I was, was that rude? It felt rude. Let's play our land. Exile the top card. It's going to be a Teferi. It was a Plains. Okie dokie. I feel like I should just hold this. I don't really feel like throwing this out there and getting it getting it shreked. We also have Chandra on 6, which is real close to Chandra on 7. Which is real close to just ruining their day. And we just win the game. God, we've always had sneak attack. We've yet to, I don't think we've drawn through the breach in, in a single game out of six yet. Uh, we've always had sneak attack and no big fat boys or all the fat boys and no sneak attack. So, you know. I want to bring in the Manatee for the Burst Lightning. Both teams played hard. False. Black Bear. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Thank you. Lightning Helix is Bay. Days AB, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Big fat boy incoming. I guess we'll find out. We got a spell pierce and a negate. I'm always feeling comfortable with the spell pierce and the negate. Also, through the breach and Ashen Rider. That's where you want to be. I'm okay with that. I'm pretty sure we're just going to play Needle Spires here. I don't think... There's nothing we want to negate that we don't want to just spell pierce, so... Unless they play, like, literally Ancestral Recall on turn three with two mana up. I don't think they're going to do that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Put that dude in the trash can. Thanks for playing. See you later. Smell you later, my dude. It's looking good. It's looking... It's looking solid. Sure. One. Two, three. Lingering souls. That's fine. Why would you tap in such a way that you can't flash it back, though? It's fascinating. Okay, we do need a land here for all of our juicy things. I think we gotta go Emrakul first, right? Oh, wait, Emer Emrakul's the only thing we can do here. Oh, to leave up Counterspell. You guys are so smart. That's oh, okay, we drew Lightning Helix, so. It's okay, guys. All our, all our well-laid plans of mice and men. Wow, Hissing Quagmire. All right. That's not going to do what I want it to do. Let's go white and red. Bay is in the trash can right now. Uh, I kind of just want to negate this. I hope you counter my negate. Dang it, they didn't. F come on. What? How are you going to act? What in the earth, man? This is not even... No. I'm going to draw three of these guys and not a fifth land. Come on. Just stop it. Well, they didn't keep their double blue up like they wanted to. Oh, now they did. Maybe they don't have counterspell. Maybe they just mistapped. I guess we'll find out right now. They do have a count. Oh, that's fine. Buddy, that's not a real counter spell. That's like some kind of joke counter spell. Deck list? Uh, I mean, it's a draft, so I'd be hard pressed to find my deck list and and post it for you. Let's 
seems worse. Oh, what if we get to a point where we can actually zealous conscripts and steal their Liliana? Yeah, this is Vintage Cube, my dude. Wow. Tangle Wire. What is this deck, man? Well, Tangle Wire is pretty good against Zealous Conscripts. One, two, three, four thousand. Yep, that's pretty good. We gotta have Tangle Wire. Come on. You thought I was playing mo modern with a with a mock sapphire over here and a Tangle Wire? I guess you didn't see the Tangle Wire at the time, but still, there's also a Tundra in play. Oh, Breach is an instant. I'm so bad at this game. I totally forgot about that. Oh, yeah, we Breach and they have to tap Emrakul. That's terrible. Yeah, that's why we didn't do this, obviously. No, this is actually, this works. You go one, two, three, four, five. You let the breach resolve. You let the Tangle Wire trigger resolve, and then you threw the breach. Oh, we actually could have threw the breach this, and then, oh man, that probably would have won us the game, to be quite honest with you guys. I'm actually going to go for uh, Liliana here, which means they're going to sack Liliana in like this, probably one, two, three, four, five, six. Does putting them to four actually seem good here? Yeah, we have to get rid of the Liliana. It's just... Oh my god, they didn't sack Liliana? Oh, I love it when they do that. That's the best, dude. Because then we just get a free... If they could, they could just sacrifice Liliana and then just be like, Oh, alright, cool. Oh, wow, we're in so much better shape now. This is insane. They can't even activate Hissing Quagmire here. That's pretty good. Annihilator 7 is gas. <laughs> oh, that's a secret mode. I like that the Through the Breach also got shuffled back in. That's, that's kind of cool. Oh, man. Mistakes were made. Yeah, you can take my Path to Excel. That's fine. I got zealous conscripts, my dude. Are we just gonna win with needle spires? That's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh man, good times, good times. 2-1 for the very first Vintage Cube. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I'm not leaving, but if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on man manatraders.com. With the link and the promo code in the description, we'll get 20% off the first three months of any subscription. You can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off long free shipping and free returns. An article went up today on coolstuffinc.com, so definitely check that out. Uh, it's about Ilharg the Raise Boar, so you might enjoy that. And you can get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. Check all those things out if you want to support the stream. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.